Hey everybody, welcome back to Back Max I with your host, Mac, myself. And today we're going to be comparing the acid resistance of copper and tin metal. We're going to be using three acids, hydrochloric acid, seven molar, uh, nitric acid, 70% by weight, and sulfuric acid, 95 plus percent. And the reason we're doing this is because in an upcoming video, we are going to be making a interesting compound with these two uh, starting metals. So I'm making this video so that we have sort of a control. What copper reacts like with these three acids and what tin reacts like with these three acids. Without further ado, let's test copper's reactivity and resistance against hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, and sulfuric acid. All right, so here's the copper before it is attacked by acid. First, let's test its reactivity with hydrochloric acid. As you can see, since there's no oxides of copper on it, hydrochloric acid generally does not react with copper metal. Next, let's react it with nitric acid, but first let's wash off the copper. Now let's just add three drops of 70% nitric acid. As you can see, there's a color change and gas produced indicating a chemical reaction, just a few signs of a chemical reaction. So, copper does not resist 70% nitric acid. Finally, some 95% sulfuric acid. All right, no immediate reaction. And I don't think there will be any anytime soon. If you know your basic metal and acid reactions. All right, let's move on to the tin. Let's add some hydrochloric acid. All right, looks like there's no reaction, at least not at this temperature. All right, next, the dreaded nitric acid. Just a few drops again. Oh, there's a color change on the surface of the metal. And some fuming off. Ah, there's a white precipitate on the tin. Very likely tin to nitrate. All right, let's wash this off and see how tin reacts with sulfuric acid. All right, the tin has been washed off once again. There is a little bit of residue left, but um, I'm not sure if that's going to come off easily. So we're going to move on to the sulfuric acid. Maybe there is a slow reaction. There seems to be a uh, small amount of white precipitate on the top of the metal. Oh, it's actually a little gray on the camera. Thank you so much for watching, and that sort of concludes our resistance and reaction test, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm gonna go wash my hands and um, eat some food.